one of the biggest tasks that we've had is fighting for the implementation of the two-thirds gender principle. When, in the run-up to the 2017 general election, in 2016, we had a program that we were doing to mobilize women across the country, politically. And it was very, very difficult. It is George and the Kenya Human Rights Commission with his team, Davis, Diana, Medika. These guys helped us put it together and made such an impact. I recall days back in the early 1990s when the Kenya Human Rights Commission was formed um, and came to Kenya in the offices in South B and when human rights violations were taking place, we used to walk there to go and present uh, cases that we were able to encounter along the way. Kenya Human Rights Commission came on board as one organization that was willing to host uh, a program that deals with human rights defenders. A lot of organizations were shying away. But Kenya Human Rights Commission said, okay, come on guys, we're going to offer you a desk and you can operate from there. We see how we can defend human rights defenders. Kama mwana rakati wa mashinani, risk zetu zina kunga mob sana. And then last year, wakati nilikuwa under at risk, walikuwa mange so also like uh, the protection working group when you to take over for security reasons, na tukutuku to keep safe. Na noso pia training as psychosocial support wali ni support through when she leave trauma gonna go through to find their counselor. Tuliko tukika forest hapo mbeleni na forest ilikuwa ni kama ndugu na dada. Pale atuko tukilipishwa kuni, atuko tukilipishwa nyazi wakati ngombe zetu na pereka mstuni. E, na wakati tulianza, ika, ilianza ku, kuanza kukato 1996, ikawa sasa hapo ndio jambo. Kwa sababu waze wetu wakua mesoma, serekali wakachukua ile jukumu ya kuweza kunyanyaza jamii ogie. Na shukuru sana kwa niamba ya jamii ogie kwa ii ii shirika la Human Rights Commission. Hawa ndiwa waliweza kunipereka mimi katika Kenya African Commission kule, kule Bajul, the Gambia, e, na tuliweza kuenda kutetea mambo za jamii ogiek. Na baada kutetea jamii za ogiek, ikawa e, wakatupatia provisional measures ambaye serikali za Kenya haikuweza kueshimu ile provisional measures. Na kuwa ukweli kesi tulishinda na tulifurahia kwa hivyo mimi naimiza kwamba katika human rights body tunashukuru na tunaeleza kwamba waendelee kupatia nguvu jamii ogiek hapo wazia id yenyewe tulikuwa na problem wakati za mbele mbele sana tulikuwa tukipata id tunapata shida sana mtu anakanyaga kutoka hapa kama ilasu uko anaenda kutafuta id ama basi wena huko ameangaika na lala 2 days 3 do 3 days huko anakuja bila hata kupata barua yote ya ID anakuja na rudi hivyo tena anaambiwa next day baada ya masiku fulani anaambiwa tena aende mali fulani anakata as northern kenya we 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 faced uh, difficulties in acquiring national ID cards but but certificates and other related documents why because they were feeling that they were second class citizens, but due to our intervention uh, and advocacy work with KCRC, we successfully uh, penetrated into the community, grassroots communities, and achieved, mobilized, till they realized their rights to get IDs and other registration documents successfully. The role of civil society uh, has been, for me, uh, remarkable. Uh, I, can, I can put it that way. It is a civil society which actually has sensitized the government to realize the plight of these individuals, of these communities, and they are the ones who actually pushed the government to uh, do the vetting uh, especially uh, the Kenya Human Rights uh, Organization. Uh, uh, they, 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 they've been, they've been to the forefront in, in ensuring that these people get their rights. And I think uh, the, the, the civil society played a crucial, remarkable role in this. Penda Kusema, 
ya kwamba kutoka leo muhakikishe ya kwamba nikifika Mombasa Disemba wawe kila mmoja ameweza kupata kitambulisho yake Tabu ya kwanza kabisa ilikuwa ya kukosa kitambulisho na hayo makosa si yetu babu zetu waliletwa na wazungu kwa ajili ya kazi maneno yalipoisha ya kazi babu zetu wakabaki hapa serikali ile ya nyayo shida ikaanzia hapo wanasema sisi wageni na sisi tunasema sisi si wageni lakini nashukuru katika kujitolea kwangu na ndugu zangu kutafuta haki nilitafuta kwenye mashirika haya ya watetezi wa haki za binadamu kweli tulingangana mpaka kufika pale tulipokusudia tumepata I'm the sister to one of the Kenyans who is suffering in South Sudan. The case that we were fighting was South Sudan 4. For actually one year, they were kept in a place called a blue house without any charges. They had never even been taken to court. Um, one of them was released, uh, not aware of the reason how he was released, and the four were then sentenced to life imprisonment. Um, upon the sentence of life imprisonment is then when I had to bring this case to KHRC, saying these four were innocent and I could prove it because I had a letter from Foreign Affairs um, from our cabinet secretary, Amina Mohammed, saying she was aware that they had been wrongfully imprisoned. KHRC immediately took this case as their own, as much as us four as family members were suffering because of these boys, but they in fact were suffering more than us. So while I interacted with every member at KHRC team for South Sudan 4, it almost felt that they were our family themselves. So the South Sudan 4 are finally home and it is it is amazing to see the support that KHRC had given us. And I'm sure even the four Kenyans have truly appreciated the efforts. The Kenya Human Rights Commission partnered with the Ndula community, Del Monte Kenya Limited workers, then uh, Del Monte was known as Serio Del Monte Kenya Limited and uh, other civil society organizations to hold to account uh, human rights and workers' rights violations that had uh, been widely reported both in the local and uh, international media. The community was able to get uh, clean drinking water from the company. The community today is getting good employment opportunities uh, from the company. We have a head of public service to congratulate you for celebrating the 25 years. A journey of 25 years is not short. And also, I take it as a time to reflect on your achievements, on your successes, on your challenges, and also think ahead as a way forward, what are the lessons you are taking maybe for the next 10 years?